the basic idea is just I mentioned. So we first use uh, the birth model. Here's the diagram uh, they provide. So um, in original birth model, you, um, let me see, okay. Yeah, so you have sentence and you, each sentence will be initialized by COS as token and separate by uh, the SEP token. And after the BERT model, you will be uh, provide the embedding of each, uh, like the first for even for the first token and the separate. But in our task, the we will use these the CLS token for the further uh, classification. And and as the um, their papers mentioned, so the sales token will have provide better aggregation information for the each sentence. And so, yes. So we based on this knowledge, so we have we can construct the. Uh, Uh, another layers behind this output, um, we will mention here. So let's give the the token uh, the type of embedding here. So it's it's based on the bird model. So and and yeah, here just remind the 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 bird uh, module is based on this. So we have multiple attention. Uh, from the previous input and combine the previous input together and normalize and put them back to the free forward. And that's one complete uh, encoding module. And similarly, we need this for uh, the text extract model. So, So we did do similar things. And um, additional things we have to make to know is, okay, so now this is, you can think of this addition there behind, uh, add on the top of the bird model. And we do, we need to use position embedding for each CLS token. So we need that uh, uh, the layers, addition layer knows, okay, the, the, the orders of each CLS token as I mentioned, so the CS token embedding represent the information of each sentences. So based on this, so it tried to, um, the layer, these layers try to um, do some classifications of each layers and to mark which one is more important. And, but the mechanism is also based on the attention. So, that's the um, key structures and then yeah so to build these uh, summary model in warfare language there are several ways um the first part would be uh, the, the challenge because some there maybe not exist so let me skip this part so yeah and so i need to build uh, the model from scratch and Yes, so, so here, let me show you the, uh, the principal structures here. So um, here's the text input and it could be tokenized. And we have birth model to have a good embedding. So here we have um, complete birth embedding output. Now we have the second input to extract the CSO, uh, CLS token for each sentences. And then we do um, for the uh, layers for our task, then we use these um, uh, input to extract the CS tokens and then, oh, sorry, extract the CS token and combine, <coughs> combine with uh, position embedding and then do, um, do additional layers for, uh, with attentional, attention layers. So yes, 
and in the end we do kind of a classification output of each uh, sales tokens. Yes, so I think, yeah, that's the key ideas. And, <clears throat> and here's some um, code structure. So the difficult part is, okay, we now, we have to construct, uh, we have to, up, because the model, we, we want to update a uh, fine tuning model. So we also need to update the bird parameters. So I have to construct the bird model or, you can you can also uh, um, update the uh, weight based on the model from Wolfram repository. So, um, yeah. So so I build the 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 attention layers and bird model from scratch and and the point here. Okay. So you can have you eventually you have a stage to import the the weights. And so you have to load the weight here. Uh, here, the weight here I extracted from the, the Python model, PyTorch model. And you can see the, the layers of weight. And then we update the weights for vert uh, model with uh, yeah, net replacement. And also for, for the classification, there's of our test, we also need to update its uh, weight. And yeah, then for the debugging, so yeah, um, because there are too many ways, so there is some difficulty to do uh, uh, debugging. So, but you can just follow this rule to check it, and and also you can check the output compared to the Python, the layer output compared to Python, and yeah, that's it. So in the end, we I can show you. <clears throat> the result uh, we have uh, because these are internal uh, uh, consulting projects. So we uh, work with uh, our engineer Binyat, and we do this one years ago. And <clears throat> yes, so you can see that wait. So we can check uh, for given text input, we can have, we can highlight the summary because now we focus on two sentences here, yeah. or three sentences. So we will highlight the sentences. Yeah, I think that's it. So the basic idea is up what your question. Okay. So I think the, the key point is we use BERT to generate appropriate embedding for each sentence. And we take the CLS token to represent each sentence and use these, um, so it's kind of hierarchy structure. So use these sentence representation to do further attention and to find appropriate classification of each sentence. And maybe the difficult part is, okay, how you import this way or how you build the, the layers and models on your own. And, but otherwise the, the, the idea is quite simple. Yeah, that's the uh, second uh, addition they are doing. Yeah, because um, once we get the representation or the, the vectors of each sentence, because in the net, all sentences will be representing vectors because only numbers we can deal with. So yeah, and based on these vectors or numbers, the uh, additional attention layers will, will deal, um, deal with these sentences at the same time. Just is similar to 
the birth mother deal with the words at the same time to, to get the uh, representation, representation of the sentences. So it's similar way. So uh, maybe they're confusing, but let me check. Uh, so for example, the bird, you can see the bird output will be, if you have n, n words, they will have an output. Yes. Yeah. 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 But these embedding space have certain mean, meaning only uh, the net they knows, but uh, they can't sort of the, the, this embedding based on the data set. Yes. And yeah. And just a pa the paper mentioned. So the first token is important. That's called CS, CLS token because that, that um, help you for do further uh, fine tuning task. Yes. If you have such, because 10,000 uh, document, you have to label it. Because here we have uh, supervised training. So, yeah. So, yeah. So for each document input, we, we label the important sentence. So they, are, they can based on the hint we provide and such, and learn how to find the, the apps uh, summary. Yeah, but you have so many, so you have to provide. Yeah, idea you can do it, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I, good question. So, uh, so far, maybe not because it's just a uh, uh, consulting internal project. Yes, so maybe. We, I, we can talk to the machine learning group, see if we can convert this as the part of the repository or not. Yeah. Yeah, good suggestion. Thank you.